Welcome once more to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. This time out, I'm going to draw to your attention two great, highly recommended fiction reads, which I hope you will add to your reading list. The very first one is The Push by Ashley Audrain. This is published by Viking, and it retails for $24.95. Uh, Ashley Audrain was once um, a publicist for um, Penguin Canada and she publicized books. Now we have the pleasure of publicizing her debut novel, The Push, and it is one for the ages. It's a tense psychological thriller that you will not be able to put down. It revolves around the life of Blythe and Fox, a happily married couple. Um, Blythe is unsure whether she wants children because her mother and grandmother were not very maternal. But she does get pregnant and she gives birth to Violet, um, which um, they are very happy. Then, um, ultimately, Blythe becomes pregnant again and she gives birth to Sam. Now, after Sam is born, Violet, who has behaved oddly at times, behaves even stranger. Uh, Blythe will get up in the night and she'll look at the baby crib and... Violet is just sitting there staring at her brother, just with a strange look on her face. It creeps Blythe out, but Fox sees nothing wrong with Violet. She's a perfect child, but it all comes to a head one day when Blythe and Violet are out and Sam is in his baby carriage. It is a winter's day and Blythe is drinking a cup of coffee and uh, Violet hits her hand and the coffee spills in Bly's face. She reaches up to her face and just as she does that, the baby carriage is propelled into the middle of the intersection where a car hits it, killing Sam instantly. Now, Bly swears that Violet pushed the baby carriage into the intersection. Now, she has no way of proving that, but she has a suspicion that somehow she does not see how it could have propelled itself you know, without help out into the intersection. Ultimately, uh, as time progresses, the marriage between Blythe and Fox breaks up and um, Violet seems happy about that. So Fox falls for another lady, Gemma, and they are very happily, um, well, they don't get married yet, but they are deeply in love and Violet stays with them much of the time. Now, once again, Fox thinks Violet is great, but Blythe still has her suspicions, and she sort of befriends Gemma, who, who does not know her, you know, just to get close to her, just to see what Violet is up to. Now, ultimately, the jig is up, because Gemma does discover that Blythe is really Fox's ex-wife. So it's... it. It, it all comes to a head, and you get this strange suspicion that Gemma suspects something is wrong with Violet, and it comes to a startling conclusion, let's put it that way. So um, I want to push you in the direction of your local bookstore to pick up the bush, because this is definitely a riveting read that you should add to your collection, and soon. The second book of note and another very highly recommended book is The Next Wife by Kyra Rauda. This is published by Thomas and Mercer and it retails for $23.95. This is another book that is one you will not be able to put down. Uh, it revolves around um, three women m mainly. Um, they are Kate, Ashley, and Tish. Kate is the mother, Ashley is the daughter and they were married to John. Now, he started a very successful company along with his wife called Event Company, and they are about to have a massive IPO launch 15 years later after starting it up. Now, um, Kate and John have gone their separate ways, and he has found another woman, woman called Tit Tish, who um, is his executive assistant in the company. Now, Tish, you can tell almost from the beginning, she's a schemer, but um, with the massive launch, um, Tish wants to take her husband, John, away to Telluride, 
uh, for a special weekend because she fears that John and Kate are getting close once again, which they are. Now, John never comes home alive. He comes home in an urn uh, with his ashes. He has a massive heart attack there. Now, almost immediately, Kate thinks something is rather suspicious because John was always very healthy. And it's rather odd that as the two seem to be getting back together, he suddenly dies. So there is a struggle for the company with Tish and Kate. Tish wants the company. And um, as we find out, Tish is a schemer. There is a forged will and uh, schemes and dirty double dealing that you will absolutely hate, Tish. Uh, the book is told in alternating chapters through the eyes of Kate, Ashlyn the daughter, and Tish the nasty wife. <laughs> so um, from one chapter to the next, you can see the book getting darker and darker as Tish's schemes, you know, to get Ashlyn out of the will for one thing, um, with a forged will. Now Kate discovers the will is forged and um, it makes for some interesting uh, confrontations as at the end uh, Tish's life hangs in the balance literally and there's a nasty little surprise with Tish which I'm not going to tell you or that'll spoil the surprise. Let's just say um, some people live happily ever after in the book and some don't unfortunately but anyways um, the next wife should be the next book that you consider uh, after of course reading the push um, those are the two books this week and as I said they are very very highly recommended you cannot go wrong with these two great fiction books so those are the two books that I wanted to bring to your attention hopefully you will read them and hopefully you'll let me know what you thought of these two books so as always I welcome your comments, positive, negative. Tell your friends about our online video reviews. And uh, thank you as always. And stay social distancing, stay safe, stay sane, and stay in touch. We'll talk real soon. Bye for now.